To demonstrate a very common playback problem, we need to perform two steps. Step number one, change certain settings in Mercury 2's website. Step number two, re-record the script developed earlier in tutorial number five, which is nothing but login in Mercury 2's book of light, view the itinerary logout. So let's proceed ahead with step number one. In the Mercury 2's home page, click the administration link. Select the third checkbox, which is nothing but set login forms action tag to an error page. The setting basically tells the server not to allow duplicate session IDs. Scroll down and click update. Scroll on again and return back to the home page. Close the browser. Now, let's proceed with step number two. We record the same script we developed earlier. In the view generator, click on new view user script. Select the web protocol. Click start recording. Enter the URL address and select the action to record into, click OK. In the Mercury 2's home page, enter the username Nick and the password. Click login. Select the flights button. Select arrival city as London. Select the seating preference as aisle. Rest of the settings remain default. Click continue. Select the flight at 1 pm. Enter payment details. Click continue. Click the itinerary button to view the itinerary. Click the sign. Click stop to stop recording. The code is being generated. Let's save the script. Say the user underscore one. Okay. Let's proceed to the next step, which is nothing but verify the replay. I click the start replay button in the instructions pane and the script fails. The script that was working earlier is failing now. The script emulating the same business process that was working earlier fails now. And the million dollar question is, why? Well, let's investigate. Many applications use dynamic values that change each time you use the application. Dynamic values as cookies, dates, checksums, timestamps, etc. Some servers assign a unique session ID for every new session. In fact, this is the exact setting we activated in the admin page in step 1 of this tutorial, that is, the Mercury tools assigning unique session ID. Now, when you try to replay a recorded session, the application creates a new session ID that differs from the recorded session ID and the script fails. Let's look at how the client and the server communicates while recording. The client sends a request to server to issue a session ID. The server responds by assigning a unique session ID ABC. The script is in record mode and the session ID ABC is hard coded in the script. Next. The client sends a request to the server to start a session with ID ABC. The ID sent by server and that sent by the client back match and the server initiates a new session. 
Let's look at how the client and server communicate at replay. Client sends a request for session ID. Server responds with a new and unique session ID with value XYZ. But the client has hard coded value of the session ID ABC stored while recording. Now, client sends a request to start a session with a hard coded session ID with value ABC. Session ID assigned by server and session ID returned back by the client do not match and the script fails. So we need a way out. Possibly, we need to replace the hardcoded session ID with a parameter which could dynamically pass the session ID sent from server and send this new ID as client request. So let's look at the client and server communication again which begins with the client sending a request to issue a session ID. Server responds with a session ID with value ZZZ. This time around, the client passes a session ID value from the server. Now, client sends a request to start session with the past ID ZZZ instead of the hardcoded value ABC. ID assigned by the server and that returned back by the client match and the session is started. So the solution here is parameterize the session ID, use the parameter value for further communication instead of the hard coded value. This is nothing but correlation. In the next tutorial we will see how correlation can be done.